Welcome back. So I uh, thought I'd just give you another update of where things are standing now. So I've had the aircraft um, back up on the block since I took it out the other day and got it off the ground and checked all the gear and there's nothing wrong with anything. It's uh, all nice and stable there. That, that sort of wobbliness that we get, all the, um, the shimmy that we get in the legs there, it's, you know, I think it's going to be similar to, you know, what a 182 or 172 RG is in terms of, you know, how it shimmies there. I've actually, when I had it up on the blocks, I can just basically bang on that tire like that and it actually kind of rings a little bit like a guitar string and that's just basically because of the design of it. You know, you've got a rigid mounting point up the top there uh, inside the fuselage and then, you know, you've got this long arm out here that is, you know, potentially just like, um, like a tuning fork. Uh, so anyway, I talked with Mark about it and it's pretty much designed to flex like that as well as long as nothing's bending that I'm going to try and see if I can't mount a camera up in here um, so we can see if, if there's you know any particular spot that's moving more than any other spot uh, but I have a feeling it's just you know from the leg itself I don't know if you can see there from the knee itself it's just sort of you know vibrating like a tuning fork uh, but there's no damage or anything like that so and you know we knew already that it could take quite a beating from when I was up at Cherokee and I bounced it down the runway a bunch uh, so other than that, the other thing I've found, um, and I'll show you here in the video, was the uh, left and right imbalance, which I was compensating for with uh, aileron trim, and I've decided, well, that's really kind of putting a band-aid on it. So what I'm going to do is I've already, um, and you'll see coming up in the video here, I've already done some uh, weight um, measurements there, left and right, and moved my uh, ballast that's underneath of the uh, left seat right now. And I'm going to put a slight little little bit of weight out there, right right in the wing uh, winglet in there, a um, couple of pounds in there, and that'll compensate uh, for the fact that I'm sitting in the right hand side of the aircraft, and so is the parachute. So the parachute weighs about 75 pounds, and you know you got me there about 170 sitting in the right side, and then t offsetting that I've got 100 pounds in the left seat, and it's just not enough. So putting a little bit of weight out there and moving these weights here right right by the door um, gets me nice and even. So that way I can leave that trim tab set to zero, set to the, the neutral point, and the aircraft should come off the ground cleanly and not want to just slowly bank to the right as it was doing, as you'll see in, that, in the video I'm showing you here if I haven't already shown it to you. Uh, anyway, we've had a, you know, crosswinds out here the last couple of days the winds blowing sort of from the northeast about five knots and I don't want to take the aircraft out anyway when it's like that I want it to be straight down the runway um, or, or completely calm so uh, I'm just gonna have to wait and see now but I'll I've, I've still got to get this the weight in that winglet um, sorted out I'm just gonna um, put some you know lead shot in there in a little baggie and just secure it in inside the winglet there because um, I've got the opening there where the um, where the rudder uh, control bell crank is there and I can put it in there and secure it so it's not going to affect the rudder. Uh, so other than that, that's pretty much what's going on and uh, I'll get that sorted out and you know get the aircraft all nice and balanced left and right and then uh, from there I'll be able to think about taking it out again when the weather cooperates. Alright, in order to analyze a bit clo more closely what happened, I've gone and um, you know, edited this video together so down the bottom there on the left I've got the under view uh, camera and I've gone and leveled it out so the horizon is level there and then up the top left I've got the uh, G3X panel and I've done the same thing there and the other thing to look at closely is the gap there on the aileron on the top right uh, just to see where the, where the aileron position is. So as you can see once I uh, get the nose off the ground here if you look at the bottom uh, left camera there you'll see that the aircraft actually starts to bank but then if you look at the aileron you'll see it's basically staying neutral here. So with a neutral aileron, um, you know, something's causing the aircraft to bank to the right. And then of course I push the nose down and that, you know, gets it back on the ground and it levels back out again. And then as it starts to come airborne again, this time it's uh, banking a little bit, but I'm sort of aware of it at this point. So I compensate a little bit. And if you look at the aileron there, you can actually see I've got a little bit of aileron there, um, you know, trying to push this left wing down. Uh, but then I'm still not fully aware what's going on. I'm looking at the runway and I'm saying, okay, I'm heading off of centerline here, so I need to make an adjustment. 
at which point you'll see me put um, you know a little bit more aileron there right there to bring the aircraft back uh, off to the left bring it back to center line and then it starts to just wind the bank back to the right again and of course as it gets closer to the ground I really put in a lot more aileron to compensate and then that brings that left wheel down uh, fairly quickly at which point then it's you know basically coming back on the ground so there's just a, it's con a constant tendency of the aircraft wanting to sort of bank to the right and uh, that's what was basically throwing me off uh, with respect to my inputs on uh, the roll control so what I need to do is I need to solve that and get things balanced. Okay, so I was fully aware that there was a weight balance fr from one side of the aircraft to the other. So what I'd done is I'd put that trim there on the aileron down in order to push this aileron up, which would have the effect of pushing this wing down. But knowing how much to do it is kind of just a stab in the dark and trying to compensate uh, literally on the fly. It was just something that I wasn't able to do. So the parachute's in behind that panel there on the right side of the aircraft and of course I'm sitting in the right seat just because I'm more comfortable there. And on the left hand side, under the seats, this is where I have the weight, um, the extra weight we have. So there's two 50 pound bags there and they're basically close to the center line there. And this is what it looks like with me sitting in the seats here. So you see there's about a 36 pound imbalance from left to right. Um, with the right hand side being heavier and that's sort of having that tendency of wanting to roll the aircraft. So I need to basically level that out and, uh, and get that you know, much better balanced. So this is what I'm doing. I put a couple of foam blocks there um, in order to have something for these, um, these weight bags there to rest up against and this is uh, just a trial here. And I've got them pushed up against the door frame there so I'm moving that weight more outboard to the left hand side of the aircraft and then um, over on the uh, wing, just for testing here, I've got about a four pound weight just sitting there. And then once that's there, when I'm sitting in the right hand seat, and actually that's in that panel there, that opening, that's where I'm gonna actually put the weight when I'm finished. Uh, but anyway, once I'm sitting in there, this is where we're sitting here. So only like three or four pounds different from left to right now and I can quite easily just adjust that when I put the final amount of weight there and get it really absolutely perfectly balanced. Uh, that way that wing, the right wing, won't have the tendency to drop when it's coming off the ground. And it's just one less thing for me to think about and I can just set the trim on that aileron to zero. So um, how I'm gonna do this is I've got some uh, weights there that I just bought from the local fishing tackle store and they're just little uh, lead uh, sinker weights and I'm just gonna put them in like a, a material fabric sort of baggie that's pretty strong and then put that in that winglet. Anyway, that'll be uh, coming up on the next one so tune in again soon and see how things are going. Thanks again for watching.